What is up guys, today we're gonna to be doing a YouTube video on the oil change on the 2019 Audi A6. This is the 2.0 liter turbo. So I don't know how the 3.0 V6 is. Without. The other variant of the A6, I don't know how their oil changes, but this is how we do it. Here. Okay, first things you need is the fluid distractor. The 2.3 gallon should you should do just fine. I bought this from Hopper Freight for about $100 and the best investment I've made because just makes everything easier. The oil type is gonna be OW20 Castro Edge. It says it right here, OW20 Castro, and it says Castro on the oil top right there. I usually, before I use this oil right here, these right here, but they stopped making them in the area I'm from, so I just have to deal with those. It shouldn't be too much of a difference, but yeah. Okay, first things first, you wanna take your oil top off right there. You wanna take this top off is right here. It's like the fake dipstick. It's gonna be a little bit hard to take off depending on your car. I just used a little Phillips to just pry it open just a little bit. Don't break the flaps though. Just pry it open just a little bit and leave it like that. And then this is where the filter is gonna be. So, and then the filter is right here. I just loosened it up a little bit. We're not gonna change it, not yet. But yeah, that's how you want it all set up. The second step will be getting your extractor, getting the end of it, and then just feeding it down all the way down. all the way down and then that's it you just to start it you just pump it up a few times like that and you can already see the oil coming in just keep pumping it up until it starts flowing in there And just like that, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but it's all pouring in there. I know the engine oil is hot because I drove it to go get the oil, but it should be good. And it's literally the easiest thing you could ever do. Just let it fill up all the way. And one thing I did notice, don't get fooled by these. Because I thought it was down above the uh, uh, below the minimum, and I tried to replace it. But as soon as you open this, since it's pressurized, it will come all the way back up to here. So... Don't think your cooling is low until your car tells you or you see signs. But yeah, it's just like that. You just pump it. I don't know. You can make it go faster if you want. But the longest part about this process is waiting maybe 20 minutes for all the oil to be sucked up. Okay. And then when you see the oil kind of breaking up like this, that means you're towards the end. And I don't, that probably took about 10, 15 minutes. Look how much it filled up at six liters exactly. But there's no more oil coming through. I'm gonna pump it for a couple times to get every single glass drop. Yeah, it should be done. I'm gonna give it about a couple more pumps. Okay, now what you wanna do is you wanna get in and start the car. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> bad joke, my bad. Okay. Just put it up out of there just a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, that should be good enough. So guys, it's done. You wanna take this out. Be careful though. There's still a little bit of oil in there. And there's a little spot right here you can put the thing so it can just drip down. Ah! Technical difficulties, guys. Hold on. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Now, I don't know how y'all do y'all oil changes, but now I usually just change, put the new filter on right now. So to put the filter on, this is the type of filter you would want. XG11784. And so come here real quick. You need to be careful right here, guys. I put towel down. It really doesn't matter, but I just don't want the oil from the filter going everywhere. So you want to take it out like that take this out put it like right here or something get you a plastic bag put the old filter in there and then this so what you want to do now is you basically just want to kind of like cleaning, clean it up in there. Come look from shoulder. It's going to look like this. Just clean it up all around. And then you want to pop up in your new filter. Nice and clean. And then your oil ring right there. So you wanna, oh, okay. I'm gonna put this in there like this so you can have it set up and ready to go. And then now you wanna replace your rubber seal. Oh, it's hot. Oh, guys. Hello Phillips, pop that seal up. And then take it off. Give this a little bit of a wipe down. Make sure it's nice and clean. And then you want to get your new oil. Get your new oil, pop a little couple holes in it. And then just dip your hand real quick. And then lubricate your ring. I usually just put it in there. All good. And then put your Oil seal back on. It's all ready to go. Put your filter. And it should fit exactly like this. Okay, so you want to hand tighten it first. And then you want to, I don't know, I think this is a 33, but I just use my adjustable pliers, does the same thing. You want to tighten it up. That should be good like that. And then, now, the easiest part. Let me go find a funnel. 
Okay, get your get your funnel. And it's 5.5 quarts, so I got five right here. And then I got the quart right there, so. Just like that. Okay guys, so after you put all the oil in, last steps, put the fake dipstick back. You could have done that right after you were done extracting it, but put the top back, just smack it in there and then turn it to the side like that. And that's in there. Put your oil top back on. It's on. Make sure you don't have no tools laying around. And then, last but not least, you wanna start it up, let it run, and then put just a little bit in it after. Okay guys, just started it up. Let's get the AC going, it's hot. Just started it up. And then the way you check is, you go to vehicle. Give a fuck who you with, I'm Go to vehicle, go to settings and service, oil level, and this will show up. Just let it run for a little bit, and after it's done running, just put a put a little bit more of uh, oil in it. And that's it, guys. So it's pretty much self-explanatory. It's really not that hard at all. It's one of the easiest oil changes I, I did, like one of the easiest cars to do it on. Y'all just complicate it, and then... Well, what really gets me is y'all will go to a technician and then get charged $200 to do it. Just get the oil for 50 bucks, including the filter, and just do that one-time purchase of that fuel extractor for $100, and you're set. It's really the easiest thing. You don't have to jack up the car. You don't have to, you know, get under the car or anything. It's, it's one of the easiest oil changes, and I really recommend y'all do y'all own if you have an Audi. And yeah, that's it, guys. I'll... I'm sorry this video uh, took so long to make. Hopefully some of y'all learned on how to do this. And I'll be right back at y'all with another video. The next video is probably gonna be a different type of video. I'm gonna go, I'm, me and my girl were headed to Los Cabos for about like four or five days. And I wanna vlog that real quick. But yeah guys, and if y'all have any questions or anything y'all want me uh, to do or explain to y'all about the car, just leave them down in the comments. Peace.